I am Professor Dr. Vishwajoy Chatterjee. I am the Vice Chancellor of University of Engineering and Management, Union Jaipur. I am an engineer by profession. After completing my B.Tech, I did my Masters from Jadavpur University, then my bit of research with National University of Singapore in the robot robotics domain, and then my Ph.D. from NIT, National Institute of Technology. I am right now the Vice Chancellor of Union Jaipur. The point of talking to you is that of late during this COVID-19 pandemic situation, I have been getting a lot of calls from students and the guardians that what to do, whether to take admission this year. Like students who have passed out from class 12 this year only, they are confused that whether they should take admission this year itself or they should lose a year because they are doubting whether colleges will open, whether classes will be held. And even if the colleges are open, then this under this situation where the protocol will be there of social distancing, how is it possible to attend classes or what will be the policy at all? So I really wanted to talk to the students and their, and their guardians about this issue. Firstly, let me tell you, as far as my analysis of the situation is that this year, 70% of the students will be taking admission itself and 30% will not be taking, they will be waiting. Question is whether you, you as a student or a guardian, you will get your word admitted or you as a student will get admitted this year and remain within the 70% or maybe stay in that 30% who will be waiting and losing a year. As far as myself goes, if my suggestion goes, you should not lose a year because classes, the situation of pandemic will not remain forever. Please understand that maybe in six months, maybe nine months, maybe one year, the situation will be in control, the situation will be normal, world will be back to its situation, in its, in its proper situation, its normal situation. So in the meantime, you as a student will suffer for one year and nothing else if you do so. Because this one year, the universities have planned to conduct classes, laboratories, assignments and exams, everything online. Like being the Vice Chancellor of India in Jaipur, I can say that all my students are attending classes online, they are doing labs online, they are doing assignments online, even they are attending the exams online. How is it possible? Very simple, there are several softwares like Cisco, Webex, there are softwares like software like Google Hangouts, GoToMeeting, via which a teacher can take a class and send the link to all the students of that class. The students can click on that link and join that class. Normally, they can keep themselves muted. The students can keep themselves muted and they may not share the video because they are seeing the teacher taking the class and talking to them. So they are seeing that only, they don't want to share their video or their audio. But when they want to ask a question, they can share their video and the audio and ask a question for the entire class, including, including the students, to listen, that, listen to that question. And the teacher can again answer and the student can again listen. So what happens in a normal class can happen online through software like Cisco Webex or Google Hangouts or GoToMeeting. Even a teacher can share his screen in his screen, there is a PPT, a teacher can run a PPT in his laptop and then share that PPT and the students get to see that PPT on their screen. The teacher's screen is visible on the screen of the student and the student listens to that screen, hears the, sees that screen and whatever the teacher is teaching, listens to that absolutely, carefully, properly, whatever you can say. So the entire class, even, one thing I missed out, even a teacher can share a whiteboard they can share a whiteboard and write on that whiteboard through the computer screen and the student can see that. So whatever is possible in a physical class, that is absolutely possible in a virtual class itself. Laboratories, virtual mode of laboratories, VLAB, it's a government of India initiative, virtual laboratory, through which a teacher can take in all the instruments, all the apparatus, they can take on a mobile screen or a computer screen virtually and show how to use that apparatus, how it is done. The entire laboratory can be done online through this VLAB. There are software like HackerRank, 
there are software like matlab in which students can submit the assignments students can do the problem solve the problem and submit that to hacker rank they can do coding so all these things are all these uh, facilities are there with the students and the teachers to attend classes laboratories everything assignments are generally done using google classroom google classroom is classroom.google.com what a teacher can do teacher can log in to google classroom and using google classroom a teacher can give all sort of assignments to the students and the students can log in to google classroom and answer all those assignments and submit to that same google classroom teacher get the answers they can mark there only for the students to see there only so only one software google classroom so the entire assignment is possible even the exams during exams if it is a short answer type question students can create a quiz and give it through google classroom for the students to answer from their profile and the teacher sees it and marks it and if it is a long answer type question a teacher can submit the question paper through google classroom and from that google classroom students get the question paper students write down that question pen and paper write down the answer pen and paper click clicks it from mobile maybe can scan and uploads it into google classroom student teacher sees it marks it and submits the marks within that same software for the students to get it so exams are possible laboratories are possible classes are possible under such circumstances why will a student lose a year on the contrary one year you do classes from your home and the next three years you enjoy physical classes and nowadays the situation is such that even in four years students get a lot of internships so they spend a lot of time in the industries in the final year so maybe the students are attending one year of classes from their home two years they are enjoying their college life and the last year they are busy with their internships even if you as a student want to take admission to a college which is not in your city in the current situation you are thinking it is lockdown how will i go to a different city see you don't need to go to a different city in most of the cases you will be taking admissions online and after taking admissions online you can attend all the classes laboratories exams assignments online and after doing that maybe when this lockdown is over when this pandemic situation is over you join the classes do the classes for 2 years maybe you enjoy a hostel life for 2 years and then maybe in the final year you get a lot of internships so i am talking only in the positive point of view yes there are certain problems which i will also discuss but i have seen that happen in my university at least in my university of engineering and management in em jaipur all classes are happening all laboratories are happening in virtual mode all assignments are being submitted all exams are being held in time so in em jaipur i can at least assign i can assure all the prospective admission seekers that if you want to take admission you can definitely do without losing a year now there were certain questions that were given to me i will very quickly take maybe one minute of time to answer those questions because i have been talking to many guardians of late and i have written down few of the questions which i thought i should answer how has today's scenario of lockdown and global pandemic impacted your education system dear students and guardians as far as i am concerned i am the vice chancellor of uvm jaipur i can say our education system is not impacted it is being done online all classes are being held exactly as per routine teachers are taking classes students are attending 90% attendance we are seeing students are taking uh, taking all the classes so it's it has hardly impacted yes there are problems for many people because many people who are living in maybe some interior places internet is not available yes for them there are several way outs for them we will definitely when the situation is over we will take special care for them but as far as 90 to 95% of the students are concerned they are taking the classes online and they have, they had zero impact on their education the second question is what are some of the interesting initiatives your institute has taken to make it easy for your students and also contribute to the education of this pandemic some of the interesting initiatives means see i can hardly do a lot of activity to eradicate the pandemic i can contribute a lot i have tried in within my university i have tried to keep it as hygienic as possible i have tried to spread this message to the students teachers have tried students themselves have tried our students have come out with a website where they are stopping where they are actually stopping fake news whatever news are fake they are immediately promoting through their website and their pages that there is a fake news that is what our third year csc student of um jaipur are doing that is something i have initiatives i have taken and as far as teaching is concerned the initiatives are classes through all this google hangouts go to meeting 
Cisco Webex, assignments to Google Classroom, exams to Google Classroom, virtual laboratories to VLab, all these initiatives we have taken, students have responded. The third question that I got to answer here is, how is the institute planning to conduct exams, evaluate and declare results online? Very simple. Teachers are going to give the question paper through Google Classroom. Students are going to see the question paper directly. They are going to answer. If it is a descriptive question, they are going to answer pen and, on pen and paper. They are going to write the answer. They are going to take a screenshot. They are going to take a, uh, not a screenshot, they are going to take a camera and uh, click it and upload it into Google Classroom from their profile and the teachers will get the answers. They will correct it and assign the marks there only for the marks to be displayed to Google Classroom. From there, it will directly go to our governance system, to our e-governance system, IMCRP, where the students will be able to see the results. So we will be exactly in time with our uh, exams, we'll be exactly in time with our uh, result declaration and whatever exam uh, procedures are there, we are going to follow all the things in virtual mode. So students, as far as I am the Vice Chancellor of EMJ Jaipur, I can commit to all my students that they are not going to lose a year if uh, they are cooperating a lot, they are helping me a lot. But still, I tell them, you keep on, you keep on supporting, you are definitely not going to lose a year. And even for the admission seekers, I'm telling, if you are interested to take admission, you are not going to lose a year. You are going to get admission in time. You are going to get admission through online mode. You are going to get the classes through online mode, laboratories through online mode. So you are not going to miss a single class. And if you are interested in taking admissions, I will give you the phone number. It's 988 731 triple three zero I repeat nine double eight seven three one triple three zero you can call in this number and you can get admission or you can simply log into our website to our admission portal admission.uem.edu.in and you can scan your documents upload and everything your receipt generation everything will be done online and you will be a, a student of EMJ that is highly possible in online mode followed by all classes once you do the take the admission your email your phone number are there with us we are going to share the links in time as per routine all information you can talk to our teachers over phone you can talk to them through skype and all other methods that are available and you are going to attend the classes online and all the things online maybe as soon as this pandemic situation is over we'll be through with our classes and you are going to enjoy a hostel life if you really want to uh, so the next question was how are the students responding? wonderfully wonderfully the students are responding I'm so much thankful to my students for responding so wonderfully to all the initiatives that we have taken they are attending the classes I am glad to see most of the classes are having more than 90% of the attendance what impact will it have on students interpersonal team management skills see I am I'm sure that like for a guardian it is for guardian, it is very difficult for you to really take a decision at this time. But please understand, this situation is not going to be forever. Classes will again begin. World will laugh again. Believe me, world will again smile. World will again be happy. So everything will again start. So interpersonal skills and all those things will again develop. Will definitely the students will develop that once they come in uh, physical contact with the teachers or their peers. At the moment, what they're learning is learning how to how to learn. They are learning uh, online. They are going to see the different software. They are going to use this different software. So this is also a skill that they are going to have. So this online mode of learning will also improve them a lot. So definitely their interpersonal team management skills will definitely improve. And uh, after that, the class is open, they have got all opportunities to do it physically also. To, to exhibit their interpersonal and team management skills physically. The next question was, what are the best practices that the college is doing to ensure seamless online learning? I have already discussed about the practices, the seamless online learning. I have mentioned all the software, Google Hangouts, GoToMeeting, Cisco WebEx, Google Classroom, everything I have mentioned. So these are the practices. Today's situation is revolution, revolutionizing online learning in India and abroad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is definitely revolutionizing. But you as a student will definitely understand that yes, Attending class, attending it physically, talking to the teachers, talking to your peers physically is something totally different. I assure you are going to get that very soon. But till then, please prefer online mode of learning. And if you are interested, please take online admission. You call 988 I repeat, 988 
1330 you can call here and seek for admission uh, in online mode i will end by just telling you a website uh, https colon slash clash youtube youtube.be stroke dms d capital dash 4 k k u i s c this is the youtube link uh, this is visible on the screen you can see this link you can click on this link and you can see it is explaining how to use google classroom and it is explaining how classes are taken how classes are attended so i request you do not lose a year take admissions this year only thank you so much thank you